little over a year ago, I was in bondage. Now I'm back out here reaping the blessings and getting the benefits that go along with everything that's out here for kings like us. The reason why we like this, this jewelry and this diamonds and stuff and they don't understand is because we really from Africa and that's where all this stuff come from and we originate from kings, you know what I'm saying? So don't look down on the youngsters because they want to have shiny things. In to do when we came out to Brownsville is make sure that we establish a way for our young men to systematically build brothers. Morning, Eagle Scholars. No one man can do everything on his own. This brotherhood is something that begins when a young man enter the school in sixth grade, or if they transfer to the school, um, coming to us from high school um, in the ninth grade. We were the first Eagle to start with the sixth grade, so everything we did had to be built from scratch to really support our young men to be who they need to become. So they're having seizures and things, been in and out of the hospital. Like they've been there, even in the hospital, Kwan came to visit me, a lot of people from the team came to visit me. Like right after, after the hospital, I came out, I came and got right back to practice because I had support from my brothers. Always view Eagle as the family. It's a family environment, so I know I'm still going to be able to come back and still be around all these people. Everything that they've done now, it's a brotherhood and it's about not just themselves, it's about each other. Uh, and the sacrifice that they have to make for not themselves again, but for each other. Coming in as an educator in the ninth grade, seeing the boys uh, grouped up in their houses and just watching them develop over the past four years, the brotherhood is stronger than ever four years later. Always view each other as brothers. Brotherhood as a whole would just be eagle. People that will take care of you even when times get tough. It's not only blood relation, but it's um, being able to experience through you know, thick and thin with others. A family that, you know, you could depend on. And that's, that's one of the things that, that I really love about this place is that, you know, no matter what you know, that somebody has we your back. We ate lunch together. We um, had house challenges together. We went on trips together. And we had that, you know, a time within the day to really bond and talk. If I could do this much with this small group, what else could I do? With the class that's getting ready to graduate now, they helped me to realize that as long as you are willing to try, you can endure. Really having a young man internalize his own ability to be successful is one of the biggest things that we have to empower our young men to believe. Without hard work and dedication, nothing can be done. We could. We could. Watching these young men go through the struggles that they're going through and work it out and being resilient and giving effort and being committed even when most people probably thought they, they couldn't do it with the extreme odds, it taught me that I could be anything in life. And I admired, I admired my younger brothers. You have to learn how to deal with challenges. You're gonna have challenges at 11, you're gonna have challenges at 21, you're gonna have challenges at 50. It's about really ensuring that our young men grow up to be strong fathers and men of character. Look at these seniors who are doing such great things. Here's where they were in the sixth grade, here's where they are now. If you wanna, if you wanna have that same opportunity for yourself, this is what you need to do. And constantly pointing to individuals in the building who look just like them or in the same house as them, it shows our young men that things are possible. That we're not just a collection of things that they see on the internet or read a newspaper that are so negative about them. You can point to a young man that you see every day that looks just like you, that are doing things that no one ever speaks about, but they will. And I think that's something that's really gonna change just how young men in Brownsville are viewed, and that's one of our goals. Because if you can change the way young men of color are viewed in Brownsville, and you can change the way young men of color are viewed across this nation. Damn, who knew? All the planes we flew, good things we've been through. Then I'll be standing right here talking to you about another path. I know we love to hit the road and laugh, but something told me that it wouldn't last.